I'm going to start by addressing the slide that says what professional engineering isn't, and it's not this. It's not hitting bits of metal with big hammers. Professional engineering isn't any of these things. These men are all engineers. They're engineering technicians or engineering craftspeople or engineering tradesmen. They're all very important people. Without people like this, there wouldn't be professional engineering. But if you choose to study engineering at university, that's not a first step on a, on the, on a, on a journey towards this kind of career. That's what it is. It? So what is it? Now, I know it's early in the morning. I'm going to start at a very basic level. I can see you're all much more advanced than primary school. But I wrote this description for eight-year-old kids as part of our outreach activity. And I think it's a good place to start. It's a good description of what professional engineering is. If it isn't alive and growing, if it isn't part of the natural world, but it is a man-made object, then it is there because of engineering. Every day, engineers invent things that make our world a safer, more convenient, and more enjoyable place to live. Engineers invent things that help doctors keep us healthy, and they are looking for ways to keep our planet healthy too. Engineers design, develop, and manufacture all kinds of products, and they make sure these are available to everyone, at a price people can afford. When things break or wear out, it is engineers who take them away to reuse them, recycle them, or dispose of them safely. So, basically, what does that say? It says if it's not part of the planet's natural resources, the rocks and the land and stuff, and it's not a plant or an animal, something that's living and growing, then it's there because of engineering. So everything, every product, everything in your lives is there because of professional engineering. And everything that makes your lives what they are today is there because of professional engineering. So it touches every corner of your life. Engineers are very important people. Okay, let's get a bit more serious. A government white paper. This is from our last, the last Labour government, 2008-9. It's a white paper, and I've turned to this for a few reasons. The first one being just because of the title. Turning ideas into reality. I think those four words sum up pretty much what engineering is. Taking ideas and making them real. Turning thoughts into real things that we can use. Okay, I'll read this first paragraph. From the Stone Age to the Computer Age, engineering innovations have facilitated a sustained improvement in the quality of life possible for humankind. So that's the first connection I want to put in your mind. It's not engineering and big bits of metal and hammers. It's not engineering and boiler suits and workshops. It's not engineering and dirty hands. But engineering and the quality of life, quality of human life. Okay. I'm going to let you read this list. This is the government's effort to describe what professional engineering is. And as you read this, just imagine a world without these things in it, because that's a world without professional engineering. Engineers design and construct the infrastructure that supports civilization. Buildings, roads, bridges, sewers, electricity and communication grids, satellites. The vehicles we use to get around, cars, ships, trains, aeroplanes. The power plants that give us energy, nuclear, coal, gas, wind, solar, hydroelectric. The products we use in everyday life, food, clothes, medicines, cleaning products, televisions, computers and mobile phones, and so much more. So, the ubiquity of engineering influence in modern life is undeniable. It does touch every corner of our, of our lives. I mean, it's just some words that jump off the page for me every time I read these. And these ones here, cleaning products. The government has spent basically a paragraph trying to describe the rich variety of professional engineering. And one of the things they speak about is cleaning products. I mean, they are engineering products. The next time you're cleaning the toilet, just remember that brush in your hand is only there because of professional engineering. It could be much worse than the job. Okay, so it's a wide range of subjects important in every part of our lives. So the California State, a really good engineering school, and Professor Landis, who's head of that school. And the Americans have a much, uh, much better way of capturing a snappy comment. And here's what he said. That word again, creativity. Engineering is by its very nature a creative profession. And then basically the world's moving quickly, things are developing fast, and if, we, if we're not ever more creative and innovative, then we won't be able to keep up with the world. We won't be able to support the technological and social progress that we need. So only through creativity can we cope with and adapt to these changes. So here's another five key words. I think most people think, oh, I'm good at maths, I'm good at physics, then engineering is the right thing for me. But really, I prefer this paragraph. If you like to question, explore, invent, discover, and create, then engineering could be the ideal profession for you. You have to be good at maths and physics, but you have to want to do all these things as well. 